Hello everyone and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and today I have with me Beta Max Dev and Diners, Drivings and Dev, uh, an adventure for Beta Max Dev. This is an Australian game, one of the very very few I have that replicates and wants to reproduce this slasher film sort of movie experience around the table, which um, is something that some people will say, you, but I say, whoa, but is this actually worth the amount of money that you have to spend to get your hands on it? Well, um, welcome to the GMS Magazine and Booking Videos. This, as I was saying, is one of the very, very few games that I have from Australia. And even though some people will think, you know, that this larger film is all we've done, it can be a very good experience. Now, I have with me both the game and one of the adventures, but I am not going to take a look at the adventure. That will be for the next video, because I want to concentrate just on the book. But I want you to know that this exists and it will come soon. So, well, subscribe and you will be notified when it comes up, which will be next week. So, um, I'm not, I haven't read the book yet. I'm only going to take a look at what's inside and whether spending the amount of money it costs, which is nowhere to be seen here, is going to be worth it. We're about to find out. Firstly, the cover. Love it. Very nice. I do like the cover a lot. I like that the name of the author is on the cover, which is something that more people should do, more games should have. But it, it is very atmospheric and very creepy looking and that is excellent. The back tells you what the game is all about and even though I question some of the design decisions on the book, at the very least it does give you a very good idea as to what this game is all about. Funnily enough, I cannot see a barcode with an ISBN code either, which is quite surprising and it would be nice to see here as well how, what the price is, because as I happen to see this at a friendly local gaming store, unless it's got a label on it, I'm not going to know how much I have to spend. So, um, something to consider for future releases of the game. This comes stapled, which is surprising because this also has enough thickness to be perfect bound, but they've decided to go for the staple, which is not the greatest because this can get oxidized a bit too soon. So again, something to consider for the future. I know this is a little cheaper, but beware that that can happen. Having said that, the cover, even though it's a soft cover, is actually very nice, both in terms of feel, the color, the whole thing is a soft cover goes, very, very good quality. As is the paper inside, I am reckon this is about 130 grams because it's shiny, it's sharp, it's really crisp in absolutely everything and I love it. The layout has not really gone all the way, which means that it has been designed at a format and then printed in another or that it has moved away a little bit. It's a pity because it breaks a little bit of how professional this book could look otherwise. It's not something that puts me off completely because it doesn't make it unreadable, but it's one thing to keep in mind and something that should be resolved for future printings. The layout, oh, okay, we have a very interesting and very good table of contents. This is this is good. I, I like to see the kind, this kind of table of contents that are very detailed, which is lovely. So making your characters, that's how we start right away. Some terminology, story, mechanical, childhood education, traits, skills, progression, which is interesting because in games like this, now, oh mind you, it's only three pages, which is fair enough because in a game like this, I don't expect characters to progress too much or be reutilized time and time again or having a very, very long campaign. You know, I don't think you want to run the Friday 13th part one to part I don't know, 17, all in one go. I don't know how many there are already. Chance, okay, challenges, fatigue and injuries, panic, good, combat, mm -hmm. and then the slasher, slasher archetypes, okay. 
Okay, for 63 pages, this seems to have more than enough information here, which is very, very nice. The layout is one column and one column alone, and this is why I think that there's been some sort of mistake in the printing, because there is a lot less space to the right than there is to the left. So I reckon that this should have come a little bit closer here, and somewhere in the print process it went awry. I've been told maybe it was set perfect binding and then um, staple bound. It could be the case. It could be that this should be cut through here to be perfect bound. I don't know. That, that is definitely a distinct possibility. Anyway, the font is huge, which is good for me because it makes it very, very easy to read. Uh, I'm not sure about the choice of color, but it doesn't bother me too much because there is enough contrast that it can be easily read. So that is okay. Uh, the art direction is not bad actually. I like the photography style. It's not not bad at all. It's very menacing, which is good. And again, yeah, we find a little bit of difference between the pages. But overall, I'm finding it very easy to read. And I like that there's absolutely zero issues with living space. I like the bravery in people doing layout and book design um, because it's very easy to try and fit to a page budget and cram everything as much as possible. No issues like that here. You know, it's better to body and mind group and have them separated than try to mingle and mix them. So that's quite all right. Skills. Very good illustration. I like it. Yeah, overall, um, you know, for its simplicity, and yes, even though I could question the choice of color against the, the monochrome background, but overall, this feels very readable, which is, which is good. Interesting that they have gone for um, photography instead of illustration. I'm guessing that the the author maybe knows a photographer or something but it's very very well used because even though it's creepy and the whole thing is about slasher movies but it's not gory it's not unpleasant to look at and it is not going to give you some nasty shocks but it is still very very creepy which is good so you know i think this is going to be a good idea to, to take a proper look at this. Wow, okay, now that I don't like, I'm sorry. Oof, that is not usable. I'm sorry, but this uh, character sheet has to go. You, you don't need the Betamax at the back. Seriously, you don't need any of that. Oof, way too much. That's the only thing about this I didn't like. Way, way too much, this is too much in your face. But other than that, I hope that there is something that doesn't have that. And if there isn't, please make it available. Uh, because this, for me, right away, this is not usable. Like, at all. Other than that, I, I like it. I know that there are other um, slasher movie kind of games out there, with B-movie sort of style. Um, but... I don't know, there's something about this that is quite attractive from the game point of view. And I want to, I, I think I want to dig deeper into this and see what it is like. So um, do I think this is going to be worth it? Very likely. Very, very likely. I would definitely take a look at this, but um, expect more reviews from this soon enough, in just a few weeks. So, but thus far, this is a great effort. A few mishaps here and there. Definitely away with the character sheet, but other than that, this is very, very promising, and I hope to see a lot more. And uh, next week we'll have the adventure as well, unbooked, so you can take a look and see what it is like and how it fits with this. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Let me know what you think if you already have this game, and um, otherwise, I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care.